This is content. A relaxing non-linear adventure. Steambot Chronicles. Oh my. A relaxing non-linear adventure? This is one groovy tale. Steambot Chronicles. <laughs> Why is this title screen so forward? Okay. Be a bad guy if you want. Uh, <laughs> Steambot Chronicles! <laughs> <laughs> I'm being shouted down by the title screen. I'm playing Steam so Don't no. Shut Do up! Right? This game wasn't made for let's playing, was it? Stop talking to me! Stop. A romantic what? scrap metal adventure! Start! Steve no fucking stick on <laughs> It's time for another of the This Is Content experiments where we play a mysterious JRPG. And uh, see what happens for a sec. Because already this one's... Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not even willing to say this is a JRPG at this point. I don't know where this is going based on that very pushy title screen. And the high quality variety of voices we heard. This this game apparently already has all the This Is Content voices in it. So it sounds perfect. Anyway, we're already being hit with some moralistic questions for some reason. How is this the opening of the game? Your significant other is crying. What do you do? Uh, change the subject. <laughs> Seems like a, a pretty good idea. Whatever the subject was, they clearly didn't like it. I was, I was watching this video on the internet, and it was really, it was really low quality content. Oh God, why? Yes, yes, I am. Um, have I ever told you I'm a member of the bourgeoisie? <laughs> Just change the subject. Vanilla. It's fine. Vanilla. What? What? That kind of sounds like my name. No way, that's your name? Vanilla? <laughs> what a shit name. That's the least edgy name of all time. I wanted to be an edge lord. <laughs> Am I awake? No. Oh! Oh! I hope that answered your question. <laughs> now go away. <laughs> I think we've been washed up on a shipwreck or something. And this passerby is asking if we were okay. And according to these camera movements we're like kind of leering and twisting her twisting our head up and down at her like well i'll tell you in a minute i'm going to be annoyed you could you shut the fuck up i'm trying to be dead Oops, sorry. sorry sorry never been in a shipwreck before <laughs> guess i'll just leave you to die so this is vanilla vanilla that's his name his actual name Look how embarrassed he is. He's like, no, don't, don't remind me. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Vanilla. And yeah, so we're the only survivor of a tragic shipwreck about which the only other witness doesn't give a fuck. And I suppose we don't care either. You gotta like, call the authorities or something. No, the menu will reveal what's going on. Right, my condition is sated. Is there survival in this? Do I have to eat food? Oh my God, this is detail what items do we have i've got my <laughs> shoes music rating <laughs> lousy <laughs> this is the worst musical instrument of all time oh wait that's my music rating so is this a music game what it's it's got like survival mechanics and music <laughs> what what is this okay wooden plank i probably clung to this after the shipwreck no so it was on the shipwreck <laughs> and, and the planks on the map <laughs> that's a significant plank <laughs> Ah, uh, like they should have called me Significant Plank instead of Vanilla. <laughs> that would have been a better name. Album. What's it, my souvenir album? Oh, a picture of myself. I woke up in a white shirt with a blue vest and worn out jeans. Well, that's exciting. I don't remember who I am or where I came from. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It is an amnesiac protagonist. What is this shit? Roll none. Music rating lousy. I'm not in a band. I've never been tipped. I'm only a beginner at pool. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? <laughs> They call me the Amnesia Kid. Good. <laughs> Greetings, history. What is th How is that? I have no idea what's... Wait, 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 I wanted to look... No! I wanted to... No! <laughs> Excuse me, I'm having a mental breakdown. This is what she was wearing when we first met. It's feminine and practical. <laughs> all right, all right. Like, first thing you do when you see someone is give a review of their bloody outfit. <laughs> Vanilla, okay, Vanilla's backstory is, he's the fashion police. <laughs> Sorry, girl, it wasn't worth my time. Your clothes may be feminine and practical, but I'm going for the worn-out jeans look this season. I'll now sprint to my destination, and here comes the artillery. 
Oh, and it's set in World War One. Did I forget to tell you? Oh no, they're going to trap us on the beach forever. No, we're doomed. Okay, well, what was that about? Let's have a little look. Oh my God, is that a steam bot? Are we fighting the steam bots? I wonder what made that boulder fall in the first place. You wonder what made it fall? I suppose you didn't hear that massive explosion and see that huge mech warrior firing missiles onto the, pe the beach. I suppose in the same way she didn't see the shipwreck. I think she just isn't very observant. Any ideas? What? I can lie about what it was? What possible <laughs> cause would I have? So, a yellow thing in the ocean was kissing the boulder? Yeah, yeah, it was... That was what happened. How... What am I gaining by lying like this? I don't know. Is this so non-linear that most of the options just break the game? Well, we're trapped here forever now because that was just pointless to say. Just ended the conversation like, oh, so you're just going to lie to me like a little bitch, are you? Okay, well, I I'm glad I didn't even care to save you from that shipwreck. Well, now we're trapped here. Should we, should we chat about the situation? Hope I don't miss the bus. She doesn't give a flying fuck about anything. Is she going to be a party member? This is sensational. There must be a way to get to that! There's a steam bot! Uh, well why don't we just take our new lovely lady companion into this abandoned shack? Do you want to go inside? Oh my god! I was right! Uh, I mean, no? Uh, there should be a hole over here. Oh my god! Is this written is. deliberately like this? <laughs> there it is! Well I'm glad you found it. <laughs> That'll save us some time. It hasn't changed at all. Of course, I don't know why anyone would want to go in there. Uh, I could ask about the shack. <laughs> Is this your love shack? So what's the deal with the shack? <laughs> it used to belong to a fisherman. <laughs> I ate him. <laughs> she, she just, just like stock still with her mouth moving. It's been vacant for quite a while now though. I am not a steamboat spy. <laughs> I see! Well, I'm going in this hole. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you later, darling. I want to go inside this steam bot. Oh, you can go with me, I suppose. I mean, there's only one seat, but <laughs> if you insist, darling. I hardly know you, darling. This is called a trotmobile? <laughs> then what's a steam bot? I thought these were steam bots. <laughs> The confusion <laughs> intensifies. Of course I know how to drive a fucking tropmobil. <laughs> you think I was born yesterday? As far as my memories go, I was born about ten minutes ago, but let's just leave that. Be cocky. <laughs> I, I drove tropmobiles bigger than this back on Tatooine. What the fuck? Up is turn right? What are these controls? You press up to turn right? You cracked open the user's manual. <laughs> I know how to drive this. Five minutes later, what the fuck is this shit? Must be somewhere here in the manual. When a red indicator appears above your trotter bill, you can lift whatever it is. Okay, that's what we need. It's basically a forklift truck with legs. Oh, I get it. I suddenly get it. It's tank control. It's fucking tank controls. Okay, we're back in the game. You know how tank controls are the worst controls and every video game doesn't use them anymore? <laughs> Anyway, like, that's just, ow, that, yeah, eat, eat this stone. Oh, we can just pick it up. This is pretty strong. Okay, I'll we'll just take it over here. Can we throw it or something? Ugh. Yes, all right. <laughs> now we're free. You don't need that bus anymore, darling. <laughs> Where we're going, you don't need buses. We've got the Trotmobile, <laughs> the future of transportation. <laughs> There's the bus stop. There it is. Okay, so we've made it to the bus stop. We just need to work out how to get out of this thing, and uh, that's going to take a while, isn't it? What do we got? Oops. Oh no, the bus already left. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> She's not even gonna mention the shipwreck. I just came from the beach. Hundreds dead. I mean, sorry. Um, am I late to late for the bus? Oh, I'm gonna have to wait another fifteen minutes now. Oh bugger. Oh bugger. Shoot. Could you maybe take me home in that trapmobile? Well, well, our relationship continues to advance at breakneck pace. We're already being invited back to her place. I thought that shack was her place. I will You're certainly right. accept your offer. Thanks. Hop in, darling. I trot with the best of them. <laughs> and most of the best of them are dead, thanks to you. So, can we do anything else while we're here? Because, I mean, there's that hunger mechanic, and this is a farm. Should I be stealing food? Here's a box. Please give me some fucking food. I'm starving. <laughs> I obtained Classic World Literature 1. They keep in the box, up back, <laughs> just in case. 
It all started one afternoon as Middle Lynn was out for a walk. Several men approached her. Dot, dot, dot. The, the men sprang towards Middle Lynn with ill intent in their hearts. The girl did not so much as flinch, instead raising her arm into the air and casting a spell. In the blink of an eye, the men had vanished, leaving Thompson's gazelles in their place. Not only had she turned her kidnappers into gazelle, but in fact, the entire town, oh fucking shit! The only thing the young witch could do was search for the villagers and return them to human form, one by one. Oh, so she can do that. I thought it was permanent. I thought it was like the Midas touch. That's not so bad then, is it? This is the worst fucking classic world literature of all time. It would have been far easier to find them, had they been Galapagos tortoises. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Ah, tears stung young Merlin's eyes as she realized the tediousness of the task at hand. Is this some sort of allegory for this game? What's going on? What do you think, old man? Do you want to discuss classic world literature with me? No, I'm not here for the bus. I'm the only survivor of that shipwreck. No, you won't have heard about it. No one has. I mean, I haven't heard about it. Look at this. You can move before the walk cycle starts. You've been hit by, you've been touched by a smooth criminal. Ow! Pretty impressive, don't you think, darling? Do you want to tell me your name? I don't even care. Don't ask my name, it's too embarrassing. Oh. My. God! <laughs> no. No! It's not possible! They made a game just for me? <laughs> I got a harmonica? She gave me a harmonica! She's like, well, there's no radio on this. You'd better be singing to <laughs> play the harmonica the whole way back. Otherwise, I'll get bored. And no, you haven't mentioned your name so far. Coriander? There's a section in the user's manual on proper attacking procedures. <laughs> of course. Now that you've purchased your first road vehicle, you'll be wanting to know all about the art of fist fighting. <laughs> Driving on the road comes hand in hand with mortal combat. That's just how it is out there on the roads. At least it is in Texas anyway. I don't know where you're from. Vanilla. Oh, oh, oh. Punch him. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. L. L to punch. Yes. Yes. We're beating him up old school. Yes. We annihilated. We took his year. Hey, he's running away. He ran away. The gas. I needed his gas. I'm so poor. Can we stop by the carpet mill, Vanilla? Please. What? What? Uh, but, but, but the bandits! <laughs> the bandits were gonna kill us all! He went to get reinforcements! <laughs> okay, we're going fucking carpet shopping. This relationship is progressing so fast! So fast! We're already going carpet shopping! Yeah, fine, we'll go to the local carpet store. Where are we? Is this the outback? Is this the wild west? There's bandits in warrior machines walking around, but everyone's also got horses and there's a carpet shop and. <laughs> I'm in a band, didn't you know? I play the harmonica professionally. You. Finally, a chance to increase our greeting stats. We met someone new. I can introduce myself, but there's no point. I'm some guy. I'm the only survivor. Only survivor of what? Nobody even knows. Not even me. But anyway, we want to salute. Because you know how he said his name's Marjoram, apparently? It's like our main character misheard him. Oh, Major M. <laughs> Good to meet a fellow officer. We should be heading back. I was captain of the USS. <laughs> yeah, we renamed it after a certain event. Wait. Uh, and also, Basil? I'm Texan He's now. Here too. Where's Basil? Basil? Should be. Basil! Oh, uh, he's wandered off somewhere. Hurry, New quest. We have to find Basil and get to rehearsal. And what about the carpet shopping? And I'll just leave you to it. <laughs> I'm fucking out of here. I've had enough of the mixed messages this game's been giving me. How hungry am I now? Let's check. I'm snacking. I'm snacking. I need some fucking food. Let's play the harmonica. Practice. Oh my god, you can actually play the harmonica. Is this going to be a mini game? I think I crashed the game. It's just like, nope. <laughs> you ain't doing this. Um, just wanted to play my harmonica. <laughs> But the game didn't have that programmed in. Is this like the screen just goes black so that you you get a break from playing the game so you can actually practice your harmonica in real life? Is that what this is about? So okay, I would like to take a harmonica break game game. Say okay, we'll just we'll just shut the image off and you can play the harmonica until your heart's content. Oh, there was a noise and we're back to here. Oh god, there they are. Oh, they are making carpets. Okay, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> anyway, sloppy worker. I don't care what happens as long as she doesn't beat me. 
Okay, so this is like Victorian working conditions by the little things. They're using looms. I'll just slide on by this. This is so efficient, this little production. They don't pay the workers, but apart from that, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> You're paid in not being beaten. Oh my god, cowboy clothes obtained. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> We're gonna steal some cowboy clothes from the Victorian carpet warehouse. Fruit and toot and right away that stresses individuality. Yeehaw! <laughs> Fantastic, I will wear this. Does it actually change my appearance? Yes, it does. Okay, we are now a cowboy. <laughs> I knew I was from Texas. <laughs> My instincts serve me well. I'll just slide on out of this obvious drugs farm. There's so much stuff in here. Is this carpet mill somehow a central part of the game? There are so many areas and things to interact with. I thought this was just a sideshow. We're supposed to be going to this girl's house, but then we went carpet shopping. Did you give Connie a ride here? No. <laughs> Let's just lie. Don't hide it, son. I saw you through the window. I'm always watching. Ah, then you would know that I wasn't wearing these clothes when I first came in. Not gonna challenge me on that. So you made yourself right at home. <laughs> wearing my clothes? Oh well, I don't give a flying fuck. Anyway, do you wanna buy some shit? I would like to buy a cannon arm. <laughs> I thought this was a carpet shop. <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> it's a carpet shop, and he's repairing someone's drum kit. He also sells mech warrior parts. <laughs> You gotta diversify your business, son! Now buy this fucking giant sword for your mech warrior! <laughs> or would you like this fine carpet? You know, I would like a cannon arm. Oh, he just gave it to me. <laughs> Got a present for you, son. Seeing as you stole my clothes and all, it's endeared me to you. So let me just attach a rocket launcher to your car and then, and then we'll be going. Carpets for sale, <laughs> by the way. Now tell your friends carpets for sale. This is all a publicity stunt to sell carpets. There was a huge massacre in the town. A mech warrior firing missiles everywhere. Destroyed several buildings. Sponsored by the out of town carpet mill. <laughs> Story time again. Now we're going to get some law. We desperately need law. Luckily there was a history book in this carpet mill and we're going to read it, okay? The discovery of black gold! Uh, oil, as we regular people call it, in the Siberian desert a century ago affected the country's industries, industries dramatically, leading to the invention of the automobile, an invention that was forgotten. <laughs> Mere days later, with the invention of the giant walking fucking death robot that now everybody has. You got fucking rocket launchers you can attach to it, assault at the side of the checkout to the carpet shop. They're so common. Everybody's killing each other. It's a nightmare realm. And it's all thanks to that delicious black gold, of course. A scant half century ago, Dr. Nutmeg used our accumulated industrial knowledge to change the legal system so that people could legally change their names. He failed. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> oh, God, the way he turned around. Oh, it's the bus driver. Be caught up with the bus. We can't make it to town with those bandits standing in our way. Blast those killer elephants. That's the name of the bandit crew, by the way. They're not actually killer elephants because that would be too good. This game's good enough as it is. They don't need killer elephants on the loose. Oh, this is their Trotmobile. Can we steal this? It's got toilet seats attached to it. Maybe this makes it more powerful in some way. This automobile looks fairly new. Okay, so they do have technology. They've got like a Ford Model T here. So we're in like... I don't know, the 20s? It's the 20s, but with mech warriors. Yes! <laughs> she acknowledged the fact I'm wearing a cowboy outfit. The cowboy look is so cool! I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> I meant to say. Oh, there's stairs here. We didn't go up here before. Let's just go back up to the uh, the meth lab, uh, the silk thing. <laughs> oh no, it's a whole new area. Hello, is your name Basil? Oh no, there's Basil at the back here. Let's just talk to this weird guy with no eyes. Ask me anything about trap mobiles. Uh, what the fuck's a trap mobile? <laughs> okay, don't ask me that. I don't even know. <laughs> There's no explanation. Where'd they come from? The greed is the natural evolution of the automobile. <laughs> After the first generation of cars was put on the market, people started saying, Why doesn't this car have a fucking giant robot arm and a gun and rocket engines on the back and, and fucking legs? <laughs> The market demanded that we invent the Mech Warrior. <laughs> oh, we can look off into the mountains. That's nice. This is a nice view. A lot's happened lately. I nearly died, I think. I discovered I'm a professional harmonica player. A fate worse than death. Let's take some time to think. Let's try and remember who I am. I'll reflect for a while. Who the fuck am I? 
<laughs> Must be a way to remember who I am. Just this morning, I... Uh, what, I have to actually choose? Do I have to get it correctly? Can I... Am I, like, inventing my own memories? This is great. Okay, what happened was, I went sunbathing with Connie. <laughs> That's probably what happened. We were sunbathing together for hours. I remember it like it happened 15 minutes ago. I hope I tanned evenly. You did. You did. You were tanned a perfect white all over. So, he gave you a cannon arm? <laughs> yes, yes, he's like that, isn't he? Everyone who stops by, he's like, Do you want this high caliber artillery piece? <laughs> Don't tell anyone where you got it. Yeah, I would love to attach it to the Trotmobile. I guess, can I bring the Trotmobile in here? This looks like a garage. Yeah, we probably can do something. We'll do that. We'll, we'll attach a rocket launcher to our car. Uh, I just need to find Basil and tell him that I'm joining the band. The band has a new lead harmonica player. <laughs> oh my god, what a terrible thing to hear. We built this hideout without that carpet mill dude finding out. What? I think these guys, yeah, these guys are members of the Killer Elephants. They've got, yeah, it says Killer Elephants on their back. These are the bandits who are terrorizing the town. Their hideout is this balcony that they've built on the side of the carpet mill. And the carpet mill guys don't know that it's here. <laughs> well, that's quite incredible. They didn't find out. You can see it out the window. There's a gigantic thing towering over the landscape. What's that? That's, that's just my bin. I don't know. I'm look out the fucking window. Who do you think I am? I've got better things to do. I've got to sell these rocket launchers to kids by five. Now, anyway, there's another one right here. He's even closer in. Oh, wait. Wait, there's a ladder there. It's a ladder. Is there something secret down there? Excuse me, I'm a member of the Killer Elephants. Oh, we can't prove we're in the gang because we don't have their cool logo on our jacket. We need to steal their clothes somehow. I'm just a passing cowboy looking to steal your clothes. You won't find it here. You've got to involve yourself in the gang. Like in Nefraburg or something. Oh, I see. So I need to go to bloody head office for this gang. <laughs> Isn't there a website, please? I don't want to do this in person. Oh my Christ. My name is Basil. I'm the brains of this operation. <laughs> But I'm not the face of it. For the reasons that will soon become clear. Oh no, they're clear right now. They're clear already clear. Oh, Oops. Get back. Forgot to put my face Are on. Are you a friend of theirs? Yeah, I'm a friend of, of Major Am. As you can see, I'm also in his outfit. Pleasure to meet a man with no face. <laughs> Same to you. <laughs> That's how you respond to a salute. Oh, you're saluting at me. Well, well, I'll, you, later, well you too. <laughs> I'll see ya. Catch you later. Maybe. Oh, hopefully not. I'll just, I'll just sprint away from this conversation. <laughs> Why does everyone sprint away from me every time I salute them? Weirdly. Oh, well. Sweet ride, huh? Yeah. Sweet ride, huh? <laughs> hey, I'm back. It's me. Just an old Texas cowboy, dude. Seems a little uh, chunky to me. How dare you say that about my beautiful so chocolate bill that I just recently it. stole. Anyway, so you wanna sure. ride with me, Connie? Sounds like Sounds fun. Like fun. Okay. It's happening again. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. But wait, where are we rolling out to? Who are you guys? Don't you work here? I'm just taking her home. Are you coming back with me? Because... I didn't think there were going to be that many people. I thought it was going to be more intimate of an affair, if you understand my meaning of... Uh, am I in your band yet? Oh my god. <laughs> now we're fucking working for the carpet shop. <laughs> if you're going to town, do you mind taking these carpets? Sure, that'll be no problem. Free fucking carpets. <laughs> I'm Kane. <laughs> God of this carpet mill, bow down before me and purchase this thick, plushy carpet. Alright. I'm the best harmonica player this side of the carpet mill. Yeah. Oh, that's mashing. Okay. Just mash it, mash it. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah, boy! This, so this actually is a music game. It's also a non-linear JRPG where you solve quests. It's also a thing we ride around in 1920s mech warriors punching people. It's just lots of games. <laughs> it's just lots of games. And it might be a dating sim as well, I can't quite tell. I'm going to save my data. I definitely need this data to survive <laughs> in this harsh modern world. This game is the best thing I've ever seen. Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>